I think one of the sad things about the realities over the past 20, 25 years is the Republicans have shown themselves to be very good at winning elections. Maybe not in this particular case for the White House, but in general, they win elections and very bad at fighting the culture wars. And it's unfortunate because now the Democrats control the media, Hollywood, um, academia, big tech, and half the country doesn't feel represented at all in almost all of the information that comes back to them publicly. Well, what do you think about the, the big tech element then? Also that, you know, going forward that at least, even though they did nothing, I mean, I kept saying this the whole time, you guys are having these hearings and it's great to see Ted Cruz, who I totally like and respect. It's great to see him grill Jack, but you guys are doing it six days before an election and we're pretending that this is in theater. Are, are you worried that, okay, Trump was sort of the last thing that was stopping big tech from doing whatever it might want to do. I, I don't know what exactly what it wants to do. But now without that threat of we're going to regulate you, whatever it might, you know, break you up, stuff that I don't particularly want them to do, uh, are, are you worried that they're just going to go all in and, and silence the real resistance, which will be, you know, the remaining free thinkers? Yes, I am worried about that. I, I don't have the solution to that either. I, I am worried. I think one of the sad things about the realities over the past 20, 25 years is the Republicans have shown themselves to be very good at winning elections maybe not in this particular case for the White House, but in general, they win elections and very bad at fighting the culture wars. And it's unfortunate because now the Democrats control the media, Hollywood, um, academia, big tech, and half the country doesn't feel represented at all in almost all of the information that comes back to them publicly. Like sports, forgot to mention them. So you turn on the television and watch a sports game or get the news or watch the Oscars or the VMAs, whatever it is. And now you're getting wokeism shoved down your neck and you're being told you're a racist if you happen to be a Republican and you like Trump or even just if you're a Republican these days. And you know, you send out a tweet that is totally legitimate and maybe just opinionated or a news story being reported by that New York Post, censored, censored, censored. You know, your viewpoints are, you're being told they're bad by everyone that has control of the public microphones. And I do think it leads people to be like, am I insane? Am, is everything I think yeah, awful? Yeah. I, it's a problem. And I think big tech is part of the problem. I really wish we, we'd see somebody like Peter Thiel, you know, who you know, he's gonna have to actively create a new Twitter and a new Facebook. And a, like, there needs to be a real other digital forum out there that represents the other half of the country, because I just don't think they've got much of a future on the existing platforms. Well, the irony is if, if Trump loses and then it finally gives him the impetus to be like, okay, I'm going to another platform or I'm starting my own platform, that's how the platform will will work, right? Like that ultimately would be so. it. No, don't you, don't, you don't it. think that would be enough? No, I think that'll be like, I mean, with all due respect, Sean Hannity starting his own network. Like, you know, you know what you're gonna get. You're not going to get real analysis. That now that's no, no, no. Real. I don't mean I don't mean you'll get analysis. I mean if Trump is just like, all right, I'm going, I'm going to parlor or I'm going to locals or wherever. That it would be like everyone would go there just to, because he's still the show yes. in a way. Oh, no question. He's yeah, I don't wrong, mean that he's going to create like, some nonpartisan network or something. If like you that. can, uh, I, I'm not like conservative media is well represented in the digital world. I get that, but when it comes to these main, the main platforms out there, when it, I mean Facebook is, it gives a little bit more play, but they're. They're censoring a lot of stuff too. But if you could have a real, and I know there's Parler, I'm on Parler, but it's just, it's not what Twitter is. And yeah. it, it, I don't know that it's going to be. You need a real player with a lot of money to, to create the platform and back it. And somebody with a spine of steel like Rupert Murdoch to say, I don't need to be loved at the cocktail parties. I'm gonna let this be a real forum for mainstream conservative thought, in other words, we don't need Alex Jones on there, okay? Right. But like Dave Rubin does not need to get censored, right? And I, 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 that's my only thought because I, you're not gonna change Jack Dorsey. You're not gonna change Facebook. You're, you're not gonna change these big tech organizations for whom it's like deeply ideological. <laughs> they, they think it's the difference between good and evil. You know, it's not just about getting Biden elected. It's about silencing the rest of these racists. Did you see that clip from Sonny Hostin on The View? Yeah. 
unbelievable. That that embodies how they think, the, the left wing. And I don't even mean progressives. I know you used to be one. Yeah. Most progressives I know are totally normal and mainstream and they don't believe in any of this nonsense. It's the quote left with a capital L who are insane in the way they see the other half of the country. And Sonny Hostin just put it on display where it was like, these at least half the country. I'm not gonna say they're racists. Yeah. But they're racist. <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna say they're racist, but at least half the country voted for him, notwithstanding his racism, his sexism, his xenophobia, his transphobia. And then uh, another woman on the panel, Sarah, I don't remember her name, but she was like, how can you say that? You know, people vote in their own self-interest all the time, pocketbook issues and so on. Doesn't make them bad, doesn't make them racist. And the response was, no, because this is about we the people and we are supposed to behave as a collective and do what is right. One of those things, Dave, I was like, oh my God, I wish so badly for the first time in my life that I were sitting on the view. <laughs> I would have loved to said to her, I, I get it totally. And just out of curiosity, I'm wondering, because like there's a lot of people who really feel like, for example, um, abortion is murder and it's mm -hmm. actually killing babies and that's wrong. And what would be right would be to ban it outright. And if you don't support that, you are on the wrong side. You're in favor of murder. And, and we, the people, responds yeah. you to behave as a collective, right? Like, I could go on for, you know, give me five other examples. Like, the outrage, and by the way, let's look at the southern border. You know, the people down there who have had family members killed by people illegally coming across with drugs and, and weapons, yep. uh, who have lost jobs to people who are here unlawfully in the country, they have real reasons for wanting a, a great border wall and for cracking down on illegal immigration. And if you don't support it, you're the one who doesn't care about life and the well-being of your fellow citizens and we the people. Who died and made her king of we the people, right? But, it's like, do you think, do that's you how think they think, the left. But do you think they'll ever stop that thing? Like that, in many ways, what you just described there, that is the thing that most, the rest of us are fighting. We don't have to make it about Sonny, but that thing, and it's been so successful, and, and as we're talking, potentially is about to dethrone Donald Trump. Why would they stop doing it? They're not going to. They're not going to. I mean, I, I agreed with the headlines this week that said wokeism was dealt a blow during this election because you saw you know, his numbers, yeah. as you pointed out, with all these minority groups go up. People, the minority groups like him more than they used to, not less. Yeah, it, yeah. Like four years of ubiquitous media coverage telling them he's awful, racist, bigot, all the stuff, and that they're awful if they like him. So that didn't work. Oh, and by the way, I mean, even just today, there was a congressman, a Democratic congresswoman who was saying, uh, defund the police killed us, killed us. That is why we went down in the house instead of up. And if we don't abandon that ridiculous messaging, we're gonna get, see a bloodbath in two years. So wokeism, you know, the, the messaging was proven to be a failure when it comes to electoral politics, but that yeah. won't deter them. That's not gonna stop anything. But for the reasons I was saying, it's ideological. It's, it makes yeah. them feel like better people, superior. Um, I don't know if it's their guilt, if it's just the virtue signaling makes them feel great about themselves in bed at night when they judge other people and, and decide they're all bad. So we're going to have to deal with it. And the people who don't believe in this BS culture, and there's so many people in the center right who don't either. Look at the Harper's letter, letter, letter. Look at people like Andrew Sullivan who hated Trump, but you know he's completely taken a stand against this baloney. They're going to have to speak up. They're, the, the people who are against it, I know they're afraid. I know you can get fired now for the most ridiculous reasons. Trust me, I know. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to ta start taking risks. Otherwise, we're all going to go down. You know, we're going to go down together on this war. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about the media, instead of nonstop yelling, check out our media playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, check out the full episode playlist. They're both right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.